This video is sponsored by cdkoffers.com. cdkoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy affordably cheap software and games license keys. They offer a vast catalog on their site. Just simply look for whichever software or games you're looking for. Click on the buy now button and you should be taken to the order confirmation page. I know their license keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. That's just how easy it is in CDK offers. Plus, you should you encounter any problems or issues, feel free to contact their chat support that will assist you instantly. Well based on my experience. Going back, what's up and welcome back, it's your tech dude here again. So today I'll be showing you how to change me 4 c routers language back to English. So for the first time you might be getting a Chinese firmware configured router. In order to fix this, I'll be showing you how you could flash the international firmware so that you could enable the English interface on the router. I'll show you this step by step process so that you would be able to change the language from Chinese to English. So let's now go to our desktop. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, simply go to the link as I've mentioned a while ago that I'll be placing on the description. You'll be able to see here the Mi Wi-Fi 4C International Firmware that zip file. Just simply click on this download button right here. Once downloaded, simply click on the open folder and just leave it be. You can go ahead and minimize that one. And then we are now going to connect to our router. So I'm going to connect via Wi-Fi. You can also connect using LAN cable or Ethernet cable. However, I have already configured this over Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to connect it using Wi-Fi. Once we are already connected, as you can see, no internet. However, it's secured. We can now go ahead and go back to our web browser. And then type on the address bar 192.168.31.1 or whichever is the initial IP address of your router. In order to check which IP address is your router, simply go to the start menu and type in here CMD. Go ahead and click on the command prompt and type in here ipconfig. You should be able to see here the default gateway 192.168.31.1 or if in case you have a different IP address, that should show you the default gateway. However, if you are using an Ethernet cable or a LAN cable, you should be looking for the Ethernet adapter Ethernet and look for again the default gateway and you should be able to see what IP address is your router. So since I have 31.1, I'm just going to type it on my address bar. And as you can see, it's currently on the Chinese interface. So we're just going to log it in. So assuming you've already configured for the first time your router, you could just simply go to this button right here and then click on this eye icon right here or information button. So once you are ready on this particular page, you'll be able to see here a version right here, 2.14.75. So we're going to go back to the folder a while ago and then we're going to extract this particular zip file and overwrite any existing files. And then you should be able to see here the me Wi-Fi underscore R for CM underscore firmware and the version of this particular firmware is 3.0.16 and underscore international firmware so just go ahead and click on this button right here and then click on the choose file go to the folder that we've extracted that particular file or firmware to and then click on that and click on the open button hit the blue button right here and it should flash the firmware on your router don't turn off your router during this process as it will require the router to be turned on while this process completes. So right now the router has turned from orange or a flashing orange light now to a blue steady light. So that means that the flashing has been completed successfully. It took around 5 to 8 minutes. So we can now go ahead and reconnect to our Wi-Fi right here. Or again if you are using the Ethernet cable, basically you don't need to do anything else. So right now we are connected back to our router. So we're just going to remove this other part and just simply go to the 192.168.31.1 and click on the leave button right here 
And now, as you can see, the router is now configured to have the English interface. So if you're not seeing this kind of interface, we can just simply log in back to our dashboard and then simply go to this second option, which means settings. And then go back to the status icon or the eye icon right here. And then scroll down until you see the system language and make sure to set that one to English. And it should basically change the interface from Chinese or any other language back to English. Hopefully I was able to help you to be able to change the Mi 4C router's language to English. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. Again, it's your tech here. See you in my next videos.